tutorial you are going to see that how we can just create an amazing tap box and whenever we just hover on it it will follow your mouse cursor so to make this thing we have a from our blank page right now and we're just going to start working on it so firstly what i will do is just take a frame here and after that make this thing as a stack and then I'll just make this color as black and as well as I'll just add some text here like web design and let's fill the colors change the fonts and as well as yeah everything seems fine let me just also make this thing as a fit content and place it down at here okay so we have into the star into the stack we have frame we don't need this frame anymore we will just remove this thing and based on this stack we will just color it down and after that we will just increase the width of this and then we will also include an icon here so for that we will just type icon and then use so let's use this hero icon after that let's fill the color like it should be white and make this thing as a frame we don't need any kind of colors for the for the frame so we will just make this as a transparent after that we will just target the icon and then what we will do just look for the proper icon which we actually need like here we have this one and we need this this icon and based on this frame what we are going to do is make this thing a border and then make the border white after that let's use radius and let's also reduce the size of icon and then let's target the frame and use 20 pixel of padding so for that we will just go into the layout and then use padding and after that what we are going to do is simply taking this thing into the this design into the into this stack so okay just a moment let me just add this thing okay let's add it here but it is okay let's also okay no not this one Yeah, that is fine. Now, what we have to do, we have to make this text at the left and this icon at the right. To make this thing, we have to select the stack. And after that, we have to go into the layers. Yeah. And then we have to use space between. And then we will just increase the padding. So we will let's use 50 pixel of padding from right and as well as left. And then we will just drag this thing into this design and it would look something like this. After that, for the width, we will use relative and use 100% of size. And then it would look something like this. But now what we have to do is make this as a component. So let's make a component here like tap box and then let's make that when we will just hover this thing it should change the rotation of this icon like here we have that whenever we just hover on it it changes the rotation of this icon so to make this thing let's just make another variant for hover and target the icon and also let's use minus 20 pixel of okay not my uh, 20 pixel let's use for 30 what about 40 yeah 40 is fine let's use 40 pixel of rotation and after that let's have a look so it works fine and after that we have to go into the component and then make this as a variable so to make this thing we will just click on the plus button and then make a variable and then let it go as it is and after that what we are going to do also that 
we have variant one we will just click on this text and from cursor we will just click on it and use custom cursor and also from uh, after clicking all these things then we will just move forward with custom create variable and and it should be exactly something like this and we will just let it uh, let it go and right now what we are going to do is just make an image here let's place an image here and after that we can place an image so for now i'm just going to use uh, some demo images like we can use this one and then make this thing as a component image box after that we will just use radius like 12 pixel of radius and the rotation will be minus 40 okay 40 is too much what about 10 yeah 10 is fine and after that what we are going to do is make some other variants as well so i'm just going to place some variants and then i will just change the images oh that's what we're doing i know Okay, after making all this thing to be changed and then what we will do is just copy this thing, place it down for five times and after that we can just change the text like from our website and then WordPress website Figma UI UX and then we can use Wix Studio. Alright, so everything is fine. If I just have a look, then I will see something like this. But here we are just going to make the things to be flex. So what we have to do is just click on this first tab box and after that go into the cursor make this as a custom cursor and then from this component we are going to use image box and the variant will be one and it should follow our mouse cursor and the image should be the placement of right side of this mouse cursor and it would look something like this so but for this it would not show to make this thing happen properly we will exactly make the same thing which we have done for the web design and we're just going to make these things to be perfectly placed image box second follow and right for this one as well and it's so we can answer and answer in picture with destiny date Let's see. Let's see. You stay sure of him. Sorry. Learn better. Italy. I'm going to hang up in the square. See. Down. Down. Let me show it. All right. So we are almost done. And what we have to do is just update this thing. And then we have to just open this website. It will take some time to load. And after that, we will have the images to be appear here. Like it is, it is taking some time because of uh, we are using some demo images and it is not un uncompressed. But if we use uncompressed images, then it would have not any kind of issues like the image appearing like it is taking some a bit time but it would not take any time when we are just making these images uncom uh, just com making these images compressed so this is how you can make this uh, amazing widget of in in framer and make image reveal option so whenever you will just hover it on 
then it will just change the images like right now it had loaded all the images and now i can just take the form so yeah that's how you have to create it so let me know how do you like this video and also make sure that you are subscribing uh, this channel uh, after that i'm just going to make some more contents based on framer wix and wordpress as well and yeah that's all so let me know what do you think about that and please comment down below thank you